All right, so in this tutorial, we are going to work on the front end. So this is uh, the CSS and HTML we did in the previous tutorial. So if you can go into my GitHub and you can download Bootstrap blog from there. So this is what the Bootstrap blog files look like and we are going to be moving things over into our Rails app. So I'm going to start with um, image um, assets. I'm going to copy all these uh, three files and paste it into our bootstrap um, rails blog now we're going to our vendor we're going to move over our vendor files um, so we have quite a few bootstrap chosen font awesome and etc and in here we have uh, a few files so if I copy all this see if I can move them over to our vendor assets um, not quite that straightforward. I'm going to move them over one at a time. So I'll start with CSS. Just move over the minified version and go into our JS, um, copy over the minified version. That's what we need just for this tutorial to deal with the main navigation. All right, so now we've done that, so we can come over into our bootstrap front end. Okay, so these are the files. It has some CSS uh, default applies to all the pages, so we need this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this over, go into our application, go to assets, styles, and here I'm going to right click and create a new uh, default uh, CSS, and then we can paste our files there. Okay, so we have this application, the CSS file, which reads uh, in this directories and it puts them in here. All right, um, come over and read asset pipeline. So you need to learn a lot about different things, um, what pre-compiling assets mean and etc. So you can read it. So, but we have a few things here. Uh, we have this require tree dot. Basically, it looks and says, are you in post controller, message controller, and then it, it uses that uh, CSS. Um, basically, uh, we don't have default uh, controller, so we can say require default. So we're manually uh, putting this into our asset pipeline. We also have styles. Um, uh, bootstrap.min again we don't have a controller called bootstrap.min so this will never get automatically loaded in for us uh, depending on the controller we are currently visiting so that's cool um, I'm going to do the same with application JS um, manually require require this here okay so now we should have bootstrap uh, CSS and JavaScript so if we reset the page we have uh, changing the styles so we are slowly getting there all right so let's um, go back to our bootstrap front end so going to posts we have this navigation bar that we've done so I'm just going to copy that over uh, go to our app uh, within the views directory I'm going to create a new folder called shared so this would be partial and we we'll create a new file in there called underscore nav. So this is a partial file. It always has to start with an underscore. So we save this and we can paste our navigation in there and just back indent it. All right, so we are slowly getting there. Um, we've coded up our navigation already. So go to applications, HTML. Uh, this is where we are going to render our shared nav so we could have pasted the entire nav file here but it's a bit tidy uh, doing it this way so here we have our front end work done so thanks to the front enders thank you i'm going to cut this out of here and go into our nav partial paste it so we could extract all the work that we've done so i'm going to cut this off and come over here paste it here so take this class from here and just say class like that. Okay. And reset the page. Oops, it's missing. Go to settings and say Kingsley 
a drama and just put this five and just for the fun of it put this active and save right so now when we go back we should have Kingsley drama there um, so we are slowly building our front end so we cut this again so this is the active page posts and I'm just going to paste this in here we have span which we need to add in here so we could do that by passing it as a block so by saying do uh, actually copy this paste this here and we end our block like that so this is just a different way of creating a link so when we do it this way we have to take this out of here so we link and we put this in our block like that so link to post path and then we have posts and we have everything so it's exactly the same so we could get rid of this uh, reset the page uh, that's fine no errors so we just copy our about which doesn't link to anything uh, we copy our contacts and we paste that in here that's easy enough uh, we take this and we paste it in here so there's a few things missing um, active is not done um, but that's okay all right so now we've done uh, the navigation and it should all just work and login will take us into our admin page so that's that's very easy so the next tutorial will work on the rest of the sections and get them all looking good so that's it see you in the next tutorial